This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Stoll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the Attack on Titan final season song called Under the Tree by Sim. It's pretty awesome. Give you a preview before we start learning it. Here's what we're learning. Awesome theme, let's break it up into parts, melody and block chords, that's the foundation and afterwards you can add your own improvisations like that to make your own awesome version. Let's get right into it. So break it up to a few parts, it's easier to learn. So first part, Ryan starts on the F sharp here, middle C is here for a reference, go up an octave C, up to the F sharp. It's F sharp, G, E, E up to A, D. Okay, that's it for the first part. Let's learn it once again. So F sharp, G, E, E, A, D. That's it for the right hand. Left hand we have four chords. They're G major, G, B, D, and then A major, which is A, C sharp, E, and then B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, and then D major, D, F sharp, A. So with these four chords in mind, so G major, A major, B minor, and D major. The two hands together goes like this, so F sharp and G major together. E and A major together. E and B minor together. D and D major together. That is that. Let's learn it once again. So together 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 all right moving on to the second part right continues goes d c sharp b a sharp up to g f sharp that's it for the right hand let's learn it again for the second part so d c sharp b a sharp up to g f sharp that's it for the right hand left hand three chords here g major which is g b d and then f sharp major which is f sharp a sharp c sharp which is fully black note chord and then b minor b d f sharp so these three chords in mind, G major, F sharp major, and B minor. The two hands together goes like this, so D and G major together. A sharp and F sharp major together. After F sharp, B minor by itself. Like that. Let's learn it once again, so it goes together, together, yeah. Alright, so that's that. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Let's move on to the third part. Ryan continues because F sharp, G, E, E, F sharp, D, C sharp, B. That's it for the right hand for this third part. Let's learn it again. So F sharp, G, E, E, F sharp, D, C sharp, B. That's it for the right hand for the third part. Left hand, we have three chords. Okay. Uh, okay. So three chords of G major, which is G, B, D, A major, A, C sharp, E, and then B minor, B, D, F sharp. And then you can optionally add another D major chord, D, F sharp, A which is, yeah, same as the first part, pretty much. Then together goes like this, so F sharp and G major together, E and A major together, E and B minor together, D and D major together. So you can do that. There you go. Together, 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 together. Like that. So back to back, the three parts of Blunt so far will be played like this. Alright, moving on to the uh, fourth and last part. Ryan continues because F sharp, F sharp, A, A, G, A, F sharp. Those are the notes, okay? So seven notes. Let's learn it once again because F sharp, F sharp, A, A, G, A, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have three chords. They're G major, G, B, D, and then F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and then B minor, B, D, F sharp. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, same as the second part chords, actually, essentially. So two hands together goes like this, goes here. A and F sharp major together, F sharp and B minor together, 
like that. Let's learn it again. So here, let's get up, let's get up. All right, so back to back, all the parts will be played like this. There you go. So yeah, once you get the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations to make your own epic version. So you can like kind of make like epic, like the original where you just do like octave bass and arpeggios, rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing, okay? And right hand, you can harmonize it on the chords to make it thicker and texture, so make it more sound more epic by making it thicker, so like this. To play around, make your own version. So if you want to make epic, you can make a calm version if you want. It's really up to you to make whatever version you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? So yeah, hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way. If you want to learn the full version, I actually transcribed the whole version on my other channel, MidiTube. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn the actual full version, full arrangement of it, okay? But anyways, yeah, hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you want to learn other Attack on Titan songs on my channel, you can also search up Attack on Titan Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find all those other Attack on Titan songs that I've done in the past. So check it out. But as for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.